The very first thing will come my mind anytime when they say, make a soft question with it like this. I will first ask myself, this one, now which topic will it come from? If you see this kind of thing from under titration, uh -huh. or where they talk about this volumetric analysis, quantitative analysis, if you see them for dilution, and as the case may be, but for titration, I'll go all hand. Then you can't remember what are the formulas we're supposed to know for titration that will help you solve this question. I will introduce them for you. So, how many grams? Grams, what do you need to measure for grams? Na mass. If you measure mass for grams, if you measure now for kilograms. So, I don't say na mass. Now I define. You understand? Now, quick way to do this thing for jam so that you know we waste time. Now they tell you so. Of H2SO4. This thing has sulfuric acid with this. As not sulfuric, no say this one are hydrogen, this one are sulfur, this one are oxygen. You need to know all this thing because who knows if you find the mass number, molar mass for this particular compound. So if you don't know each of these individual elements, the atomic number and the mass number, you know if you get the molar mass of this one. I know we lie for you now. So are necessary for the preparation of this 0 0.175 dm cube. Anytime I carry I see dm cube, I will always now volume. Not you go tell me. Volume now be dm cube. Not be only dm cube now be for volume. Even if I see something like cm cube, I'm gonna say that for volume. If I see liters, I'm gonna say that for volume. If I see milliliters, I'm gonna say now for if I see meter cube, I'm gonna say now for volume. Sure, you understand. Uh -huh. So dm cube now for volume of 6.00 m capital letter m. This thing now for molarity, and this molarity now. If you even use them as concentration, what do I mean by concentration? Because concentration now, if you change them to this guy to equal to mole per dm cube, so now we say concentration now 6.00 mole per dm cube. Then for this particular compound. So if you see mass, see volume, see, you have to say, what do you relate these two things? You go hard me for see what you relate them. They go remember, say, Again, waiting formula we relate these two together. Since mass don't they again we define, you go need something like molar mass of this particular one. So you don't finish work now. You know, say n number of mole will be equal to mass over molar mass. You don't see this formula before. Where is it? Where is it from? You say which textbook? Oh, you don't see it. You don't see them. Why can't they appear like this? <laughs> so you know, you don't say things go far. Oh. Like joke, like joke. Small, 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 small. You don't like, like the video now. Nah. As they smile, just like the video. <laughs> Share them, I beg, don't forget and comment too. So apart from this one now, nah, it's still another formula for this M. Apart from this one. You don't see this one. C times V. C for concentration, V for volume. You don't see this one before. No, Abi. I don't I don't show you now. Let me thank you. <laughs> so now if n now be this one, n be this one. That means n and n go come out. You could be say this one now could be equal to some if you make jam, may make jam, may make jam quickly. Time no day. Molar mass equal to C V. C now for concentration, no V now for volume. Maybe C V way they go submit for work. Okay. So now. Mass, now we define C, we know say we don't get C. V, we know say we get this molar mass, we never get them. Make you use this space, get molar mass. Molar mass, molar mass of H2SO4 go be waiting. It's simple, H na hydrogen, one atomic number times this two we did there. So I'll get one times two plus S na for sulfur. Sulfur get atomic number. Atomic number of sulfur now 16 AB. Yeah, the mass number will be 32 then. So plus 32 plus oxygen, get the atomic number of 8. All right, the mass number will be 16. Yeah, so 16 times 4. 16 times 4. Yeah, Tabi. So 1 times 2 will be 2 plus 32 plus 16 times 4 will give us about 64. So uh, so 2 plus 32, 2 plus 32 will be 34, 34 plus 64, 4, 4, 8, 6, 3, 9, it will give us 98, 98, that's for this molar mass. So conclusively, mass now, 
over 98 for this molar mass equal to C now waiting 6 times V now waiting 0 0.175. That's how they make life easier. Me for general, if you carry this guy, come multiply, join, multiply everything, anything you give me now at the mass be that. Right? But if you want to follow process now, you go still calculate now. Say okay, as it be like this now. Waiting will be this one. Mass over 98 equal to waiting be six. Six times 0 0.175. The answer will you give me an 1.05. If I make it over one, cross multiply one times m will be m equal to 98 times 98 times that number already there. Now 102.9 grams. If you check, you know, see option that approximate nine, come here, one, carry one out of these two, it give you 103.0 grams. Which option? Which option, Raymond? It's just a quick solver. I don't waste time. I say no go waste time for jamu. I wish you good luck. Peace and love.